Hey Crafty Cuties and DIY Divas, I just wanted to make this quick little video on how to make a super simple, super quick chip bag template. You want to get started, you don't have any, you know, special programs or anything, and you want to just know how to jump right in, this is the easiest and quickest way that I've found to, to get started. What you do is you open up a new Word document, go to Layout, make sure you put the orientation on landscape. I then insert a shape of a square, make it 8.5 to 5.5. Take this and move it over to the center. Now, the reason for this square for me is because as long as everything is between these lines that'll be dead center of your chip bag now what i do after i get this in place is i go up to shape format shape fill of no fill that makes the square transparent so that way you can see what's going to be in between these lines and dead center of your chip bag now, uh, just to demonstrate the point, I'm going to add a picture that I already have on my computer. Before you do that, make sure you click on the base page, so that way whatever you add is on the base page and not on the base page and not on the square that you just added. So I'm going to insert picture, do a little boss page right here, insert. Go ahead and pull that all the way out. Now, as you see, he fits directly in between these two lines. Once you fold your chip bag over, this will be dead center. So that way you'll know whatever you have in between these lines is the center of your chip bag. Now, remember, before you print, click back over to this square, go to shape format, to go shape outline and put no outline. What that does, now you can still kind of see the lines right here, but what that does is when you go to print, those lines won't be there. Please remember that if you don't turn off the shape outline for that square, that line is going to be there. But this is a quick, easy way, you know, to just jump in, play around with it a little bit. If you can make a document in Word, you can make a chip bag. Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You guys have a good one.